Hi, Devony Freeman from devonyfreeman.com, your online marketing maven. So today I want to talk to you about how to blog consistently even when you hate to write. The first tip I have for you is to carve out consistently in your schedule a time that you can sit down and really focus on writing. And I'm going to give you another tip at the end if you hate to write on what you can do. So by carving out this time, and this could be a half day or a full day chunk, you're getting in the zone. So just like um, a good friend of mine, Jenny, she talks about you want to batch projects together. So if you're uh, doing writing, you're checking emails, when you're bouncing all over the place, it's really hard to give something your full concentration. I would pencil out a good half a day, get a warm cup of tea and really get in the groove and get going on that. The second tip I have for you is brain dumping your ideas consistently. So this is also taking time once a week to write out everything that's on your mind. Um, take a look at maybe some articles that you uh, bookmarked from the week before and just get all of your ideas out on one piece of paper, even if it doesn't make sense. Just write it all out because through that you're going to get some ideas, things are going to spark your interest and it's going to help you come up with content ideas. I recommend always keeping a running list um, of blog posts. So I have on my phone the app Evernote and I love Evernote. So whenever I'm on the go or I'm listening to something in my car or I'm at the grocery store and I'm like, oh God, that'd be a great idea for a blog post. I just whip out my phone and there I have my little app and I can just plug it right in with notes. It also syncs to my MacBook. So then when I'm on my computer desk, I can just pull it up and all the information is right there. Schedule your blog posts in advance. So I have a separate Google calendar. You can actually have multiple calendars under one email address. And so I actually have a separate calendar that's just all blog posts. So I can map out ahead of time exactly what I'm gonna talk about for that week. And what I really love about this is I can also time it around the time of year or holidays or different promotions. So you always wanna be thinking ahead. And then in the Google Calendar, you can write all of your info of exactly what you want in the blog post right there. My last tip is that if you don't like to write, don't worry, you don't have to. There's a couple options. First of all, you can do something similar to what I do, which is vlogging, and I love it's a video blogging. So then you can turn it over to a virtual assistant or somebody that can then take your video and transcribe it and write it out into a blog post for you. The second idea is you can take uh, 10 or 15 minutes and um, just do a rant or um, say an article or a subject or something into a system called Dragon. And what this does is it's a voice recognition system that will then turn around what you're saying into text which is really cool. I hope you enjoyed this on how to blog consistently. I would love to hear your tips on what helps you to keep you blogging consistently or maybe some struggles and some questions and I can help you out. So as always, uh, check out the comments over on my website, devonyfreeman.com. See you next time.